Maybe this is the first time you're hearing of fetal lung malformations. Not only can they cause breathing and feeding problems, they can even lead to infant heart failure. Surgery is usually what it takes, but as Channel 2's Lauren Freeman shows us, the right diagnosis and doctor make a world of difference here. The police family couldn't believe their luck. I'll never forget, we were so thrilled to find out we were having a little girl. We had a little boy at home and we were hoping for a little girl. But elation turned into fear after one ultrasound, a lesion on baby Evelyn's left lung. You can see and immediately there's a difference here. And this is the mass, it's pretty large. It's, it's terrifying and you know, you very much take for granted that your child's gonna be healthy. Their first doctor said Evelyn would be rushed into surgery as soon as she was born and would have a large incision down her back. Something didn't feel right to Shalena, so she went and found another doctor. This is Big Brother. Dr. Cass leads a team of fetal surgery specialists. A comprehensive fetal treatment program is a collaboration of lots of different specialists, specialists that come to the table. There's the obstetricians and the maternal fetal medicine doctors. A fetal MRI gave doctors a better diagnosis and plan. Evelyn had a specific type of lung malformation we commonly call extra low bar pulmonary sequestration. The police has brought baby Evelyn home right away and then three months later went back for surgeons to remove her lesion without any large incision. She's experienced no problems, no side effects. Shalena urges other parents not to automatically accept an initial diagnosis. We were so grateful to find someone who made us feel so comfortable. And baby Evelyn's grateful too. There are only about 20 fetal treatment centers in the United States. Dr. Cass says it's important to seek out an experienced team to make sure your baby is getting the most successful outcome. Lauren Freeman, KPRC, Channel 2 News.